Hi honey bunny, in today's video I am going to show you my 30 day detox wash and go. It started perfect but ended in disaster. I was able to save my style from being a complete fail. If you are interested in seeing how, let's hop into this video. To start, let me show you the products I use for this wash day. To shampoo, I use the Chlorine Nourishing Dry Hair Shampoo, the Chlorine Nourishing Dry Hair Conditioner, the Chlorine Nourishing Mask, and the chlorine leave-in cream and i really like this line it's very moisturizing and it smells so good my base dollar is the tahila wahid curl sealer this is a leave-in conditioner with no buildup, and it shapes and seals the curls it is perfect in theory but i used it with too many products i really messed this up you guys my base gel is the Creole Essence Cell Jelly Hair Gel. Last week I told you I would never use this gel again and I wish I had just stuck with that and never used it again. But honestly, I didn't want to waste my money. The Tahila Wahid leave-in has a nice gel-like consistency, which is what initially drew me to this product because it's a leave-in, but it looks like a gel. I applied the Chlorine leave-in in the shower. And my hair is so moisturized and my curls are already clumping. And then I applied the Tahila Wahid leave-in on top of that outside of the shower. So after I applied the leave-in, I topped it with the Creole Essence Gel. I did do a mix test on my hand with all of these products and everything did mix perfectly. Make sure you tap the subscribe button and join the Bunny family because I would love to have you. Have you ever had too much water in your ear after washing your hair? This was one of those times and I needed to just grab a Q-tip real quick and you know, get rid of all that excess water. And this is where I went wrong. I decided to add a second topper gel. I added the Kinky Curly Curling Custard on top of the products I already applied. In my experience, this custard is notorious for giving me white residue when mixed with the wrong products and when not enough water is used. All of these products except the Tahila Wahid were used last week on my wash and go and everything mixed well so I thought I was safe but no. I believe the Tahila Wahid and the Kinky Curly did not mix well and my hair wasn't wet enough and that's that's why I got really bad residue. Please comment below if Kinky Curly products have ever given you really bad residue. At this point, I can kind of see the white residue, but I figured it would dry clear, so I didn't think much of it. Something to note is, remember how last week I said the products created a foam when mixed together on my wet hair? That is what I always look for when applying multiple products on my hair. To me, that foam consistency means the products are cohesive and any whiteness will dry clear. For this current wash and go, this residue is not foamy. It is white and dry and hard. If this happens to you, my advice is to just rinse it out and start over. I am literally in denial telling myself it will dry clear. No, honey buddy, it won't. Like, I was really just in my head like, it's going to be okay. It's going to work out. It's going to dry clear. Girl, it did it. <laughs> So I didn't shingle, but I feel like my hair is pretty defined. This is literally the moment when I realized how bad my hair looks. When I'm completely done. <laughs> so my hair dried with a hard, helmet-like white residue. 
I was so disappointed, but there was no way I was going to start over. So I decided to drench my hair in water and scratch out all the residue. If you are enjoying my failed wash and go thus far, please go ahead and tap that like button. Show me that you're here and that you care. My hair is crazy and white. I, I decided it's too much to try to scrunch out, so I'm going to put my hair half up and try to hide the residue. So I tied the back section up to get it out of the way while I work on the front section. I'm going to spray down the front and brush my hair and smooth it down. The residue is disappearing with the water while I brush it. So as I brush it, I see that the residue isn't really staying in place, which is a really good sign. So even though these products did produce a residue, it is reacting to the water, but my ends are still pretty white. So that kind of sucks. If you have thick hair, the best hack I can give you whenever you try to do any single ponytail is to do multiple ponytails, then combine them. Trust me, if you have thick hair, no one will ever know it's not just one ponytail. It's going to look like a ponytail even though it's multiple ponytails combined. But this is my number one ponytail hack, whether you're doing just one solid ponytail or a half up, half down. And it also, it helps so you don't get that like hump. If you have thick hair, you know what I mean. Like that little hump you get when you try to do one single ponytail, it eliminates that. I got really obsessed with my sideburns. I think I just needed something I could control, so don't mind me here. I'm just, I'm obsessing. I drenched my hair and then I tried to scrunch out a little more of the residue and then I sat under my hooded dryer for an hour. Um, I don't think I mentioned it earlier but I initially had already sat under my hooded dryer for about two hours so it, it's been a long day and I'm really just over it. So it does look better overall but it still sucks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not going to start over, so this is what we got, guys. This is how it's going to be, and I'm going to just accept it. I, I effed this up. I, I should have stuck with the original products that I did the mix test with, but no, I decided to be extra. And this clip was holding my hair down while I was under the hooded dryer, but I forgot to take it off. So whatever, I just, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I freaking hate it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to me. But until next time, see ya. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow.